According to Dr. Samuel Chigula, a port health official at Entebbe International Airport, Ebola screening started immediately following the confirmation of the disease outbreak on 20th September. Ebola screening at Entebbe Airport by Port Health has been there since uh, when we had the Kong variant around 2016-2018. So uh, this new infection has not found us unaware. Making use of the equipment that was used to handle the previous Ebola outbreaks, a thorough screening process is now underway for both the incoming and outgoing travelers at the airport via a tent that has been set up. So we use our thermal guns and thermal scans to screen whoever is going or whoever is moving out of the country or coming in the country. So uh, we, we are set, we screen on average about uh, 5,000 passengers and above who are going out and uh, more than 4,000 passengers who are coming in. The people using this equipment have the experience that is required. We have deployed this equipment in various areas of the airport. There is one on the arrivals area, there is another on the departures area, and another thermal scan is in the VIP, and another is deployed in the VVIP facility. According to Dr. Chigula, emphasis has been placed on the Ebola symptoms of fever, with any traveler exhibiting a high body temperature encouraged to first hold back from exiting the tent until the temperature goes down. We set uh, stations for, uh, we have the resting position, uh, the resting station, and then we have an isolation station, whereby if you're found with high temperatures, you put aside to rest within time intervals, 10 minutes plus, as we keep checking your, we keep monitoring your temperatures. In the event the temperature remains high, he or she will be placed in the isolation center that has also been set up at the airport. We have to notify uh, uh, grade B where the response team is stationed to come on board. And again, we have PPEs, protective equipment, which our members on board put on and then we put you in an isolation uh, center like we've showed you up there where we keep you until the rescue team comes and pick you. Inside the airport, Posters and screens dispensing information about the disease have also been put up everywhere. However, since the screening started, the airport has not confirmed a positive case. And to notify you, we've not gotten any case yet of Ebola in this new infection. With the screening process slowing down work at the airport, travelers have been urged to plan their travel time carefully. It is advisable to plan for more time and ensure that you are at the airport at least three hours prior to your scheduled departure time to avoid unnecessary inconvenience and missing flights. The cumulative confirmed cases of Ebola stand at 44, while the cumulative deaths stand at 10.